I'm in search for the best shave ice on the island of Kauai. Shave ice is the Aloha State's most popular treat. As a local boy who grew up on Oahu, shave ice is my favorite thing to eat. If you don't believe me, just take a look. As my wife and I embark on this trip to Kauai, she is thinking about the beaches, ocean vistas, and waterfalls. And all I'm thinking about is... Who has the best shave ice on the island of Kauai? I was told that there's many great shave ice spots. Ooh, let's go. Here we are in Waimea, right near the Waimea Grand Canyon, and we're checking out the other shave ice from JoJo's. JoJo's shave ice has three locations. We're here on the west side of Kauai. I saw someone yesterday with the Lihing Moi one, so I had to come back to a different location and try it out. Just a quick backstory. Yesterday, we went to JoJo's shave ice on the North Shore. Totally dig the vibe of this area. We're gonna try out JoJo's shave ice. It's busy here, the heart of Panale. They are busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oof. And it was at this moment while waiting, we saw this lady with a big, thick, blood red shave ice. I knew I had to come back and show you. We're gonna show you the Li Hing Moi shave ice. It looks so great. Let's go. Pretty cool. Real local style. It's good, delicious. Okay. I take her word for it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, look at this line. Really colorful inside. Oh, look. Boom. You, your dress matches the background. As if you should be a worker. That's what I noticed. Cool. This is a real down to earth pool area. And I had the Lilo and Stitch one yesterday. I had the Lilo and Stitch. I'm gonna take a smaller version of a Lilo and Stitch. Because of the name, that's what I got it for. And this is the Lilo and Stitch with blue and red raspberry. Lilo and Stitch, tropical breeze. Lilo and Stitch, tropical breeze, tropical breeze. Did you know that Lilo and Stitch was based on a real town in Kauai? We are in the home of Lilo and Stitch, Hanapepe Town. Hanapepe Town is only a short drive away from JoJo's. Yeah, I give them credit, they got a pretty big area that's dedicated to the shave ice. If you look up Hawaiian Traveler, we do videos about Hawaii, so if you check it out, please. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks. Oh, wow. I'm just letting you know, I've eaten too many shave ices in my lifetime, and I've never seen anything like this. That looks crazy. You gotta be kidding me. This looks unreal. This is crazy. I mean, this almost looks like a crime scene, but it's not. And I can indulge and I feel guilty about it. Even the cream is incredible. I mean, look. Sorry, guys, that's what we gotta deal with. But look how thick the cream is. Oh my. Oh. That is strong. If you like sourness, then this is it. This is like a thick version of Li Hing powder that was whipped and blended and it crafted into this thick creamy version of Li Hing because that's all I taste is the Li Hing and it is sour and if you love Li Hing by itself then this is where it's at. Wow. Woo. If you don't know what Li Hing is, it's a dry salty Chinese plum that's put into powder form that's very popular with the Hawaiian treats here. So they just decided hey shea ice is popular with the Hawaiians why not make it into a shave ice with powder? Instead, I don't know where the powder is, because they put it into this creamy liquid form. By far, this is the most different shave ice I've ever had. When I think about eating shave ice, I think about it being sweet, but this is very sour, and all you taste is the Li Hing. They didn't hold back on the Li Hing, 
It's very defined. It's not for everyone, but if you like Li Hing, you like trying things that are different, then this is worth trying. It's definitely IG worthy, I tell you that much. I can't wait to show you guys more shave ice spaces. That was a little weird to eat a salty shave ice. Now, off to the next one. It's only right to review Jojo's normal shave ice too. Sergio, my man Sergio just said that the tropical breeze is the most popular one. So we're gonna take his advice and take it. There's nothing better than having some good shave ice after a nice long hike and snorkeling. Jumping back to yesterday, we are here at Jojo's in Hanalei, North Shore. The tropical breeze. Guava, lily koi, and mango. The tropical breeze is supposed to be the most popular one here, and I'm gonna see why. Oh, that is good. Yep. <laughs> Look how nice the texture of the ice is. It's not overly done with the sugar or the condensed milk. It looks like it blends all in together. Wow. I'm digging this tropical breeze. Do you want stitch? Tropical breeze. Let's just enjoy this together. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's enjoy this together. I like the fact that they stay old school with their shave ice too. There's not a lot of extra the zuki beans or creativity here. It's just a really good down-to-earth plastic shave ice. This is a heavenly shave ice basic. Sorry guys, the sun is too bright. Oh, wow, this part looks really soft with the condensed milk too. I like the inside part. And the shave ice is holding up pretty strong too, which I like. Now we have the Lilo and Stitch. I only bought this just tricking for the name. I had no clue what it was about, but obviously it's the color of our favorite cartoon characters here in Hawaii. You ever had those blue and red popsicle treats that when you take it out the popsicle, it's blue and red? That's what exactly what it tastes like here. And it makes me feel like a kid again. I like their hours. They're open a little later. Right now it's almost 5 p.m. They close till around 7 p.m. And you don't get that flexibility with a lot of shave ice spaces here. So thank you for being open because we just had a long day just now. K Beach. Woo! We deserve this. Oh, it's hot. And what a way to end it off. Cheers. Look, our best friend, the roosters. <laughs> a 25 minute drive from Jojo Shave Ice in Waimea is the next Shave Ice spot. We are here in the historic Koloa town and we're gonna check out the Fresh Shave. I heard the Shave Ice is really good. It's rated as one of the best, or if not the best. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and let's find out for ourselves. Old Koloa Town is also nearby the most famous beach in the south coast, Poipu Beach. And remember, it's shave ice, not shaved ice, brah. Oh, there's a line. Anytime there's a line, you know it's good. That's the hard thing, it's like, you want your shave ice now. If it's good, then it's worth waiting for. Just like everything else in life. Sure. Let's go in. I like their names, the handlebar, the whiskers, the lip luggage. It's just cool. So we're gonna have to check it out. Fresh shave, the history of shave ice. The modern Hawaiian shave ice is actually adopted from Japan as thousands of Japanese immigrants who came to Hawaii worked on the sugar plantations in the 1900s. We were told from the owner that the Fu Mancha to the left is number one and the handlebar shave ice is number two. So I guess we got to try the number one and number two because number three is like far down the list. And there's a secret shave ice where you can actually combine the top two together. I'm excited to have some shave ice here. Right, so make it look like he's got a little toupee on his head. And then one stream, you want one chia stream coming somewhere down. That was a different experience. The top two right here, and we're gonna try them out together. Let's go sit down. First, we're gonna review the Fu Manchu. And this is with strawberry, banana, and cream. Let's take a look at it. Let's dive in right away. Oh wow, I can tell the texture is real soft and it's creamy. 
Let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. It's like a very organic, healthy shave ice. I can tell they don't use preservatives. I like the presentation of how the bananas are really top and the condensed milk of the shave ice is melted in so it makes it very creamy, soft, with a nice texture. You can taste the strawberry, how it's not too sweet. And it just has an all around good mix that makes it more balanced but a little bit of healthy fruits on top. <laughs> the texture is very smooth. It's not defined like some of the other places I've had but it is very smooth. It's not snowy or fluffy and it has a really good taste towards it. It's not as powerful as some other shave ices I've had, but it tastes very organic. And there's a lot of people that can appreciate that. This is the handlebar, the number two top seller. This is with coconut and pineapple, with shredded coconut flakes on top of the pineapple. Why it's number two? Not sure, but uh, we're gonna find out right now. Oh wow, it has the same texture like the first one, soft, creamy, not too strong, more natural. It's not strong where it's very sugary. It's a very natural shave ice with coconut and they're not trying too hard. They want to make it just right. It appeals to a more healthier crowd, which I appreciate and respect. Oh, hey, hey, you can have some. You want some? But you gotta like and subscribe first. Rooster, Rooster, you want some? We're gonna enjoy this right now. Check out the historic Koloa town and off to the next one. All right, now we're gonna check out the Waikomo shave ice. It's only a three minute drive from fresh shave ice. And see how good it is. We're gonna, oh, okay. Waikomo shave ice. They don't look open. Okay, they are closed. That's okay, it wasn't meant to be, but uh, I guess we have to try another shave ice space. I want to go to shave ice spaces that are open. Wait, I know it's the times over here. I know it's the times over here are kind of weird and spaces close unexpectedly, but anyhow, off to the next space. Next stop is in Kapa'a of East Kauai. We're gonna check out Wailua Shave Ice. I heard their shave ice is spectacular with all this special foam on top and I guess I just have to see it for myself and you can see it along with me. Let's go. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I will? Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's one other person who said it was good and many other people, but we have to try it for ourselves. Let's go in. Oh, look at that hat. And it's first base winner for best shave ice. I'll try the Lava Flow first piece. How did you guys take on so far? Just took the Wailua Falls and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'll come back. We're going to order again, so. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nothing is better than being hungry, thirsty, after a long, beautiful hike and having shave ice after. Oh my, and we're gonna go see that waterfall. You ready? I have to be. <laughs> and let's see if the shave ice is as good as I was told. Look at my lava flow. Ooh. I am a happy man. We are excited to have some shave ice here. I have the lava flow that has halpia foam, pineapple, strawberry with the shave ice. Ooh, and what do you have? Roasted coconut flakes on top of my ube. Wow. Okay, I can't resist. Oh wow. I really tasted the pineapple. Sorry guys, we're a little dirty after the hike. And the shave ice and the foam melts right in your mouth too. Oh wow. What do you think? This is the fluffiest shave ice I've ever tasted so far. It's super mushy and soft. Look how soft this is. And the healthy of foam, it almost feels like it's drizzling and melting in your mouth with this sensation. Oh my. <laughs> As soon as it touches your tongue, it, it's melting right away. Not even a one second delay. Form is holding up pretty good. 
some shave ice I know that it just melts right away, but this has it. Mm. It's gonna melt right in my mouth. It almost has like a pillowy like feel towards it, but the shave ice and the foam, it really dissolves well in my mouth. This is really, really, really good. We have so many shave ices, nothing like this. And the pineapple juice shave ice is just well defined. The uber taste is strong. This is really exciting. <laughs> and speaking about the taste, I think this shave ice has activated taste buds I never knew I had. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the shave ice and we're gonna order the next one pretty soon. Wait. So of course we need a round two. And this looks exciting with the frozen hot chocolate. What does that mean, frozen and hot at the same time? I have the dragon blood. So this has the dragon fruit, pineapple, juice, honey, and fruit. And I see a lot of honey in here. And this looks like a whole lot of tastiness. And that Li Hing powder really just emphasizes. Oh my. I can't put it into words. You ready? Yes. Look at all that foam on top too. Yeah, there's a lot of chocolate. I was told that the kids order this a lot here. It's not hot. It's just a really nice chocolatey, slushy, shave ice feel towards it. And the hot beer foam is no different. It just dissolves right on your tongue. Are you ready for the first together? I'm ready. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, this is powerful. The <laughs> leaking powder does really make a big difference here. The leaking is strong, but it's not too strong where I can't taste anything else. Remember earlier? It's not like Jojo's Li Hing, where I only taste the ultimate pure Li Hing. It blends really well with the pineapple, the honey. Because the Li Hing is so salty and powerful, so you need something really fresh and sweet like a pineapple. Oh yeah. The whole mix together is so good. Punchy, powerful, and maybe a little too sour taste when it comes to the Li Hing. So they did it just right. I gotta give this place an A for creativity. I hope that you enjoyed this section, and off to the next one. Such a good slush. We are at Kapa'a town right now. We're just chilling at the beach. And now we're gonna have shave ice, and that's at Machaya. It's a Japanese style of shave ice. It's fluffy, and this picture on the wall is quite appealing. Look at that. Oh, bubble tea too, oh. We're gonna have some now. We're gonna go check it out and try some inside. Come along. Matcha Zuki coconut, strawberry pineapple. Their saibos are crazy. We're here on a shave ice tour though. Stick to the subject, stay focused, and review shave ice. This looks like a paradise on the wall though. The fluffy snow ice machine from Japan. Hey babe, I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Very matcha. You get it? Very matcha. Why? Oh, the shirt says it right there. The shirt says it right there. It's my new pickup line right there. Well, not really because I already have my wife and she loves me. So. Ooh. I bet you 99.8742% of you guys have never had a shave ice that looked like this. Let's go eat. Yeah. This looks incredible. I like the pancakes, the strawberry, the coconut stripes seem very dense. And one thing I noticed that when they were making it, they had the shave ice, put the syrup, shave ice, syrup, they will layer it. And the presentation is on point. And I never had shave ice with boba on the bottom. What? Coconut, pancake, strawberry, and boba on the bottom. I asked for them to be exactly like the pig. Not as much boba, that's a lot of boba on the bottom. That's what I expected. I don't have that green leaf here. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look just like the pig. That's how I asked for it though. So, but it's still pretty close. Look at this. I'm gonna eat it now. It's been all right so far. Let me try uh, one more time because I think I tasted just a lot of coconut. And let me try it. Here you go. Ooh. Now I realize why she gave me this thick straw. Not just for the boba, but it does come in a slushy form of a boba drink. 
That's what I feel like I'm drinking right now. But look at this wall. I definitely come here for some rich, amazing matcha desserts. If you're here for some shave ice, in my opinion, not so much. Can I appreciate this? Yes. Does it beat Wailua shave ice? Not in my opinion. Now, off to the next shave ice area. Here at the Wishing Well Shave Ice, on the way to Hyena Point, and I've heard that they have some amazing shave ice, so we gotta check it out. I like the vibes already. It's real chill, it's laid back. We just got the most popular shave ice, which is the Tropical Bliss. It has passion fruit and coconut syrup over macadamia ice cream, topped with papaya and coconut flakes. What? I never heard of that before. Look at this, our Tropical Bliss Shave Ice and the works of Saibo. Now we're gonna try some of this Tropical Bliss. Look at the papaya on top with the coconut. Oh my. Let's try a bite. Mm. Wow, you can really taste the punch in that. That is sweet with a little bit of freshness with the papaya and coconut. Woo, that's pretty different. Pretty different, pretty cool and definitely worth it after you have a nice hike here at the Kalao Lao Cho or Queen's Bath. So I really like the fact that you can really taste a lot of the passion fruit. Every bite of this shave ice, everything is compact, everything tastes intense. That Nakna ice cream, you can really taste it. Oh, and I think I need to put this with the papaya too. And the coconut. The song just came up in my head. I, I just died in your arms tonight. Well, I didn't die in anyone's arms tonight, but I literally just almost died right now of happiness. <laughs> I have the Aloha feeling over here. I gotta say, this is one of the, oh, hey. No, no, no you can't have shave ice because you haven't subscribed or liked when I asked you to. If you liked and subscribed, I would have give you some shave ice. Yeah. But let me just enjoy this and tell you that it's worth coming here and this place gets a thumbs up. Two thumbs up actually. And while you're here, you might as well try their acai bowl. They're also known for it too. That looks so good. And it's also the most expensive acai bowl we had. Whoa, you just attacked my wife right now. On my last day here, before I head back to the airport, who has the best shave ice on the island of Kauai? And the answer is... Wailua Shave Ice. When you talk about shave ice texture, flavors, the halpia foam with their innovation, fair prices, and overall good vibes, I don't think there's a close second. My little shave ice was my favorite. So much so that I had to give me another shave ice before I leave. All right guys, I hope that you're able to go check this place out and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Aloha. This is like a thick version of Li Hing powder that just was blended and whipped up and to this, this is like a thick version of Li Hing powder that was whipped and blended. And 